We welcome you to this tutorial on setting up a site-to-site -site IPsec VPN between two locations with overlapping subnets. From the network topology, both sites have exactly the same local network address of 10.1.1.0/24. But we need to allow communication between these two networks via the IPsec VPN tunnel. Routing traffic over the IPsec VPN to the remote side poses a challenge since both the local and remote networks have overlapping subnets. The way to go about this is to introduce two different subnets, one at each location. 192.168.100.0-24 at location A, and 192.168.200.0-24 at location B. In this tutorial, we will refer to the overlapping networks as local networks, and the new networks as foreign networks. The foreign networks must have the same number of IP addresses as the local networks. With this, the 240 gates will use NAT to map the local and foreign IP addresses for both inbound and outbound communication. The local IP address of a packet leaving site A will be source NATed to a foreign IP on FortiGate A, and the destination IP of this packet will be the remote foreign IP representing the local IP at site B. This, upon arriving on FortiGate B, will be destination NATed. Now, it's time to configure. As usual, let's check connectivity between the two firewalls. We will begin the configuration on FortiGate A. Enter a name for the VPN. Enter the pre-shared key. We will use IKE version 2. Choose the required phase 1 proposals. We do not recommend the use of DES and SHA-1 in a production environment. Enter the local and remote addresses for the encryption domain. These will be the foreign networks, not the local networks. Optionally, enable auto negotiate. We are done with the IPsec VPN tunnel configuration. Next is static routes. The destination prefix will be the foreign network. The purpose of the black hole route is to ensure that when the IPsec tunnel is down, traffic to the remote end is silently dropped, instead of using a default route on the FortiGate. Finally, we will configure firewall policies. For bidirectional flow, we will configure two firewall rules. One for inbound traffic, and the other for outbound traffic. For inbound traffic, the source address will be the remote foreign network. And the destination address will be the local foreign network. This will be configured as a virtual IP which will NAT the local foreign network to the local network.
Remember to disable net. Regarding the outbound firewall rule, the source address will be the local address and the destination address will be that of the remote foreign network. The NAT type, in this case, should be fixed port range. Optionally, we will assign an IP address to the VPN tunnel interface. Continuing the configuration on FortiGate V2. The pre-shared key and both Phase 1 and Phase 2 parameters must match on both gateways. For the Phase 2 selectors, the local and remote addresses should be the reverse of what was entered on the remote peer. Remember, these are the foreign addresses.
checking if the tunnel is up. Yes, it is up. From the workstation at site A. Let's ping the other PC at site B. It has a local IP address of 10.1.1.100. So we'll ping its corresponding foreign IP, which is 192.168.200.100. Checking some VPN details. Again, to confirm that traffic is traversing the IPsec tunnel, let's shut down the tunnel interface and see if there will still be connectivity. Congratulations! You have successfully configured, on FortiGate, a site-to-site -site IPsec VPN with overlapping subnets. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. See you next time!